Hello, in today's video, I will try to put the Proton X50 flagship real seat in the Produa Ativa AV variant and see if it fits. Let's find out. Both X50 and Ativa seat design and color are quite similar, but the most obvious difference is X50 has a higher bump in the middle compared to Ativa where it is basically flat. I thought I have hit the record button to show the process of removing the rear seat of Ativa, but unfortunately, it is not the case. So, this video clip is basically the process of putting back the rear seat in reverse playback. After putting on the X50 flagship rear seat, you may have noticed the visible white seat platform from the side. This is because the Ativa has a higher or thicker seat. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison for your reference. This is how the rear seat of Proton X50 flagship looks in the Produa Ativa. The seat is not properly locked because the hook is not compatible and the edges behind the seat are slightly wider than Produa Ativa. So, I don't want to push it in by force. Flipping to the back or opposite of the rear seat, I feel the Produa Ativa has better quality control compared to the Proton X50. However, I might be wrong since I'm not a professional car reviewer but looking at the extra padding on top of the seat foam that looks like a polystyrene and plastic covered along with strings tying them together make it feel more secure and neater, at least to me. What do you think? Do you like the X50 rear seat or the Ativa rear seat? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.